Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the INA version of the Fly of Firefly Hex Nano which I have recently reviewed. In this video I'm going to show you how to add the compass slash barometer and GPS units which are required for using the navigation features of INAV, go through the basic settings, show you some flight footage and give you my feedback after testing it out. The differences between the normal version of the Fly with Firefly Hex Nano and the INA version are that the flight controller of the INA version comes pre-flashed with the appropriate firmware of INA 3.0 which is linked down below. It also comes with the GOKO GM8 Mini version 2.0 GPS and the BQ Nano which is a barometer slash compass model. Both units are pre-wired to the flight controller and mounted using a 3D printed part on the top plate. The GPS unit and the BQ Nano are available separately, so you'll be able to upgrade your existing Firefly Hex Nano to the INA version. However, as far as I know, currently the 3D printed mount is not available on its own, so you might need to get it as a part of the Hex Nano INA frame kit. In case you would like to convert the normal version of the Hex Nano to INA, you will need to download the new INA 3.0 configurator. Open the configurator, connect the flight controller to your computer, head over to the firmware flasher tab, hit the load firmware from local drive button, select the appropriate firmware and hit the flash firmware button in order to flash the flight controller with the INA firmware. You will also need of course to obtain the GPS and BQ nano units and wire them to the flight controller. The GPS unit should be wired to the RX sticks, 5 volts and ground pads which are located on the back side of the flight controller and I would like to remind you that RX goes to TX and vice versa. The BQ Nano unit should be wired to the SDA and SCL pads which are located on the right side of the flight controller and powered using 3.3 volts. Now you'll need to mount this 3D printed part on the top plate and secure the two units to the mount using two double-sided tapes and zip ties. In order to make your life easier, in case you are converting your Hex Nano to INAV, I've included a link to the INAV dump settings down below, which should give you a very good head start. So what you need to do in order to use them is to head over to the CLI tab on INAV, load the file from your computer, hit execute, and don't forget to enter save and then press enter in order to save these settings. In this video I'm not going to go over the entire INAV 3.0 features and settings as I am pretty new to INAV myself so I need to experiment with it before giving you advices and what I recommend to do in case you are new to INAV as well is to watch some videos by Pavel Spichalski, the guy behind INAV and also there are excellent tutorials by Panelist360. In order to verify that everything is connected properly to the flight controller, you need to make sure that the magnometer and barometer icons on the top are highlighted in blue and not in red, which indicates that something is wrong. Currently the GPS is highlighted in red because it is not powered up, so you'll need to connect a battery to the flight controller, then it is going to be powered up, and in case it is going to be highlighted in blue as well, it means that everything was connected properly. One more thing that you will need to do in order to display the OSD elements correctly on your FPV feed is to update the font of the OSD. For that you will need to power up the flight controller using a battery, head over to the font manager, select the font that you would like to use and upload it to the flight controller. Here you can see what it looks like before uploading the phone to the flight controller and afterwards, so as you can see, the OSD elements are displayed correctly. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test this INAV converted version of the Fly with Firefly Hex Nano. Overall, after testing it out, I can tell you that first of all, the added weight of the BQ Nano and GPS models is pretty much redundant as the Hex Nano still flies great. In terms of flight time, you can expect about 4 minutes using this 520mAh 4S LHB battery. So 4 minutes is not a very long time, of course, for a long range platform. So you can expect to achieve a total distance of about 2.5km. And I think that the main purpose of this 
version is to provide you with some experience with the iNov platform. So in case you would like to test it out, I think that this is definitely something that you can start with. Now I'm going to share the flight footage. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye. You'll see the difference now If we change it, you'll know how Nothing ever stays the same Once you let it, let it change Ain't it it, ain't it it, let it ain't Ain't it it, ain't it it, let it ain't Ain't it it, ain't it it, let it ain't Ain't it it, ain't it it, let it ain't Ain't it it, 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 ain't